Hi, this is Jan, and I'm from New York City, and my channel name is Jan from New York City Saves Money. Welcome to the channel. I would like to thank Money Mom for the invitation to this collab. And this is probably one of the most serious videos anyone can make. It's about what to do when you can't pay your bills. This is actually my least favorite kind of video to make. You know, most of us, we like to watch a video that sums everything up quickly in a minute or two, and everything just turns out perfectly and rightfully. But sometimes it doesn't work that way in real life. I know this, when a person is down and out, can't pay their bills, they just don't feel right in so many ways. The spirit is broken, not to mention their wallets, et cetera, and so on. That is the least time a person wants to hear negative information or why didn't you do this and why didn't you do that? Take heart, just take a deep breath and figure out there are some things people can do or if you are finding yourself in a very situation like this that is troubling to you, and you're finding yourself having a harder time paying your bills as each month goes by. You're sort of like falling into a pattern of some sort. Anyway, but let's talk about an emergency situation where let's say you can't pay your utilities. The first thing you need to do is check out every possible resource that you think you don't have but in actuality, you actually might have. You might have a small amount of savings someplace that you forgot about, literally. <clears throat> look around your house, look around your apartment, look around for those secret stashes that you might have saved up a while back. Look for those coins, roll them out, get change, get the money for it, literally. Money is money, right? Okay. Utility companies sometimes offer situations where if you call them, they will grant you an extension of time so as to give you an extra opportunity to have that time to earn that money so that you can end up paying your bill on time, if you will. Investigate that. This is the time that you cannot be shy. This is the time that you need to go to your closest of family and of friends. And you have to be honest and you have to say, I am really having a hard time now. And you can ask them for a loan, but be upfront and say, I do not have the money right now. And it, I may not have the money until blah, blah, et cetera. When honesty is always the best policy. And especially now. You might even consider setting up a GoFundMe page if things are that tough. There are other options too. For example, you could pawn, you could go to a pawn shop and perhaps, you know, pawn your necklace or something and get the value. You do have to have your utilities paid for. Am I right or am I right? It's a very cold and long day without electricity. Then people say, well, how do you get into these situations in the first place? Anybody could get into these situations. I don't care how careful you are. It can happen to anyone, no matter where you live. The best thing, of course, is prevention. And the best way to prevent is by saving. When times are better, it doesn't matter how small the savings, every little bit adds up, okay? Another thing some people have actually done literally was donate blood to earn some cash to help pay for their bills. People will do whatever it takes. Do you feel that you might have to do something like that? Investigate all the avenues whenever possible. No, this is not a pleasant video, but it is real life. And somebody out there may be watching this and saying to themselves, you know, you just might have to do the same, for example. Do whatever it takes, but definitely always be upfront and honest with your friends and with your family during your struggle. Let's see what we can do to make this not happen in the future. Money Mom, I'd like to thank you again for the invitation to this collab. 
and wishing everyone absolutely the best of luck. Have a wonderful day.